So we've got Hierophant. Yep. Embrace those around you. So this is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new things. So, you know, a lot maybe, again, that energy of how you're spreading your energy. So I really feel it's, you're being mindful of who. So it's going to be, obviously, Spirit is saying, surrounded with those who you know are more in alignment. So it's a time to, when you need to share, share it with those who really make you feel whole versus you know sense of judgment or things that are going to kind of strip away from your mood swings or any anything of that nature that doesn't really have a positive impact so let's see what your soul's growth is we've got letting go releasing the need to control allow the universe to do its job and deepening relationships to self um and i mean high priestess so we're constantly doing that so your energy again your season's coming and when we reevaluate how we apply the energy is because this is how we love ourselves, right? So it's time to deepen the relationship back to you. So learning your soul's language and what motivates you brings brings joy and brings joy is the art of self-love. Oh my God, that's exactly. There's a lot of knowing that you kind of have to and that letting go, it's really like just if it's not something that fits into this space of self-love that is necessary i'm feeling for you um then you know that's something that you need to let go it's gotta go um temporarily you know some things are temporarily but you know what for this month february this is what it is this month is it's just not not the time for it all right so let's see what you need to allow you got i allow myself to respect myself yeah this is about you respecting your time your energy and your space you're going to respect yourself and those are the boundaries and those are the things that people will have to understand you know those who are not really in alignment and you just are not in the space it's okay if you tell them no i don't want to do this you know whatever it is um also integrity i'm really hearing integrity in the work environment so some of you really have this um there is going to be a benefit out of maintaining a like a high level of integrity to get an outcome in your work environment. Wow, and here, I allow myself to overcome obstacles with ease. So again, there are there will be some challenges. I mean, Seven of Wands doesn't come without challenges. It's very, give me one. What does um, Pisces need to surrender? Surrender to spirit and Pisces, you guys know how to do that as the high priestess, right? So it's a time to really surrender to the divine. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. And we know that best, right? And so that's where this letting go, right? So releasing the need to control allows the universe to do its job. So spirit is trying to tell you we're here and we're here to help you. So you're definitely being, there's a protective energy here for you um in this transition all right what else we've got yes one more so i love the first deck cards that came out was balance and third eye and this in this deck this is my mirroring third eye is my mirror so balance is is needed here and spirit is showing you signs of how you need to get there right this is this all of the experiences that we're having is um showing us how we need to get there this is why this seven of wands right i need to like maintain some control and just really protect um be mindful of the six of pentacles of where we're giving our energy to this is about protecting nine of pentacles you your material harvest which you're harvesting at the moment 
um, it's also where you need to apply your energy and certain things need to kind of take the back burner at the moment. Stand your ground. And yep, the emperor. So seven of wands shows up again. Taking the lead, you're owning this. You know, very much emperor energy, very logical approach, very focused. Um, you know, knowing knowing the balance that's required because the emperor is to four. So this is kind of energetically finding um, a balance within yourself too, which is this justice, came on this justice. So five of swords and page of page of wands. Yeah. So um, obviously there are things are in your own surroundings, right? It's a win or lose kind of energy here. It's like take your losses. You don't want to fight. This energy is not required. You need to find balance with anyone who's giving conflict. Um, whether again it's work environment, relationship, family, there is a need to protect yourself to balance this energy to keep you moving in motion with this page of wands. Um and it's going to make you, my God, the seven of wands. Jeez, Pisces, seven of wands is very important. But this is because of the Wheel of Fortune. You're, you're, the universe is moving you through something. And this is where you need to collaborate. Pay attention. I really think there's a need to pay attention here. So it's very good. I'm going to stare at eye. Yeah. I mean, hangman in the sun. There's a need. There's an illumination happening here. Pay attention. It's coming to you guys either in dreams, um, but definitely I feel the events and situations are the communication. So listen to your internal body. Remember the mirroring. So the experiences are helping you change or view things from a different perspective. It's an illumination. It's also a card to transmute positive energy keep keep a vibration don't let it reduce your your energy um you know this energy of deepening relationship to self this is the self-love right you're taking care of you taking steps back hangman you're just going to take a step back and really heal and nurture your space because you need to raise your vibration with the sun you need to be fueled by the sun right now to regain some strength you're more this material artist. Yeah, to keep your focus on this nine of pentacles on what you're doing. So this is about protecting. I knew it. There goes that strength card. You've got to protect it. It's you you've got to regain some strength here, Pisces. And I, it's a preservation so you can stay focused. Give me more of this nine of pentacles. This is for you. King of Swords, yeah. Be detached. There's a lot of logical approaches you're going to need to be in. And it's very business-minded, too. It's very logical. It's very um, matter-of-fact, right? It just is. It's just one of those things where you're like, it just is. This is what I'm doing. Um, be confident in it with the strength, mature harvest. Be confident in what you're doing. Be confident in what you're bringing to the table. Be confident... Um, that's what I'm saying for those of you with, with, with work situations, stand your ground. Like, I really just feel also an energy of this five of swords. Pay attention. Just pay it, pay attention. You want to stand your ground. And then you got seven of wands three times here. Ten of wands. Ooh, so lots going on with this eight of wands and wow, the devil. Some of you are really, um, there's a, a level of resilience needed here, but the fool, don't lose focus. The fool and ace of wands, do not look, lose focus. Pisces, there is definitely a level of resilience required with what is being thrown at you. This devil energy Let's get more. Why the devil energy? 
Oof, this is too many, but I'm not taking all these. I don't feel them. So this devil energy, yeah, four of wands, work environment, making plans, three of wands, and, and two of cups. Oof. For some of you, if this is a relationship, um, an actual relationship with another person, because this could also be families, you guys, things that you need to be mindful. Um, but if this is a relationship, this is our, uh, definitely limiting you to what you're you're wanting to dive into. And I feel like this is where surrender to spirit. It's like spirit is really trying to communicate with you in this time. Now, work environment, because clearly four, four or two of cups, people you thought you can trust is probably not someone you can trust. So be mindful of those people. You know, continue to make your plans. Stick to your your goal because there's a goal. And this interference is trying to shake you off of this goal, this this leap, this um, and also um, there's this energy of with the fool of <laughs> like I feel like almost operating from this nonchalant energy and not supplying these devil energies. So it's like a, a level of innocence and oh, I don't know. So you don't supply these devil energies because if they see reactions or anything from you, you know, it, it's actually giving them information. So I feel like you need to outsmart that. Yeah, magician. Oh my God, magician energy. Yeah, outsmart it. You know, you know what you need to do. You, you're much smarter than that. So let's see this king. I mean, this emperor energy. With the Knight of Wands, of course, taking action, right? You know, going for what you want. And the High Priestess, wow. Talk about outsmart these people. Outsmart whoever. I don't care who's in this energy, whether mom, dad, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, cousin, work environment, boss. Outsmart these people. And if this is a, representing a, an authority figure, they're very they're sneaky they're sneaky and they will do things um give me more of this high priestess do your instincts are really are, are are real right trust trust what you're seeing yeah knight of swords very very impulsive very um could be hostile give me more of this high priestess trying to shake you off your balance wow yep justice Again, back to the balance here with the justice. Don't let them get you out of balance. This is what they're trying to do. Interfere with the progress. But you're, there's a protection here from spirit. Definitely a protection here. And it's not going to work out for them. Okay, we're on this high priestess. This high priestess knows a lot. Yep, ace of swords. And ace of swords is a triumph. It's not It's not easy. So you're, you're going to... You're going to find yourself but Ace of Pentacles. And then we have Ace of Cups here with the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. So, you know, stay focused. You know what you want. I, I The power that you have, high, um, I'm, I'm calling you Pisces, High Priestess, because you are the High Priestess. Like I said, High Priestess. You see things and you see them clearly and you see them coming before they're coming. So it's not really unexpected. You You, you just know who the players are. You know, this is a lot, Pisces. Um, so this is why you're you're needing a lot of um a low a long time to replenish. Because when we're fighting these kind of um energies in our life, it's it's like a stage and you know they come in cycles. But when we're in this element, because we've got all these new beginnings coming up for us, ace of wands, you know, ace of cups, ten of cups, ace of pentacles. Right, we're we're trying to progress mentally. Six so six of swords really balance our life. When people know that you're in this very balanced space, it's when they want to come in even more. Right. I mean, you guys have all the aces here: ace of cups, ace of swords, ace of pentacles, ace of wands. Don't let them. No, 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 no. Pisces, Pisces, we are not letting anyone get in our way. No, no one's gonna get in your way. Okay, Omar, what's the energy for abundance? What's the energy for abundance right now for Pisces? Thank you. 
oh i just saw that word release jealousy i really feel this is in your surrounding and then also we always have to remember when it's it's a mirror so we don't want to you know like have that in our energy and it have it be mirrored back to us so jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe ma manifests exactly as you affirm let others other people's success inspire rather than frustrate you if if they can have it so can you i feel this is a lot of what's happening to you there is a level of jealousy here they see what you bring to the table which is why i'm saying like this magician energy you have the tools you're going to have to outsmart them. This fool energy that I was feeling that you're going to have to play the de the devil, like play them at their game because what they're trying to do is get energetic information. And I think there's like a level of innocence, you know, I'm, you know, kind of like, you know, Pisces, you know what I'm saying? Like, Pisces knows how to get around things without people even noticing it. Like you can outsmart you. You have the capabilities. That's why I feel like the seven of wands here is standing up for your beliefs, taking, you know, being protective, strong will. You know, you need to like um, persevere. You're maintaining a certain control. You know, you're under attack. So there's so much information happening within your energy. You're seeing all these things. And I feel this is why the seven of wands is. It's like it's internally telling you where where the players are what you need to do conscious consumer you have the power to heal and help the world with your decisions to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmental friendly as a consumer as a conscious consumer you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods you live simply and you purchase only that which you need so i feel this is a matter of you being a conscious person even with how you um apply in your life the things you invest in i think there's also a need to just you know add a message here from spirit a need to like pay attention to how we're consuming our resources and i also just feel also being conscious in terms of like if you guys are giving things to other people this is also something to be conscious about right if it's not something you feel their need then you don't need to really give to them um, and you're being more conscious, maybe <laughs> those who are in family dynamics, maybe you're, maybe you're at a place where you're very conscious about what you're buying and your whole fam and your, you know, your, your husband or your wife or your kids are like not understanding and giving you a hard time. Um, and now you've got to introduce this new lifestyle, right? It's, it's, it's a change in how you feel and it, it is a transition. So stand your ground. If this is a new thing that you want for you and your family, then, you know, you stand your ground with it. So what is the guidance for Pisces? So education, this is a good time to educate yourself more in what you want to achieve in life. Study now puts you into the right direction on your life's purpose. Preparation is key. Some of you may, in order for this, I believe for the work energy, um, keep preparing. Some of you may have to go back and get some skills. And if you've been feeling that, I feel this is a good thing. I think it's about preparation. I think there's more coming ahead, especially when it comes to work environments for whatever this jealousy is. I feel um, you already carry a lot that most of them may not have. And I think <laughs> this is where Pisces is good at. You guys, when you, you just, that means just add more, add more to the plate and no one can touch you. It's one of those things and self-care. Like I've been saying, you can only take care of others if you first take care of you. Revitalize yourself and bring you back to your power and let others be inspired to do the same. Lead by example. So definitely self-care here, Pisces. You know, um, this is really tough energy to go through. When we're, it's almost like an under attack kind of energy. And to be in so much seven of wands, then this could be a spiritual attack for some of you or an energetic attack. And this is why you, you're going to need that space alone when you go home. It's like, shh, you know, it's, it's, 
you know, take a warm bath, a salt bath if you have to, put on a candle, listen to frequencies, um, you know, or motivational videos, whatever is it that helps you kind of decompress, you're going to have to do that a little more often. And then we have connections. Again, there's a lot about connections here. So co cosmic connections are the souls that help us develop and can change the course of our path. So there are going to be, even these not, these not so great ones, believe it or not, there is a mirror happening here. And what it's doing is showing you a lot about how you need to change the course of your path. Um, the decisions that you need to make. All, 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 all of the relations we have relationships we have um teach us something one about the world two about ourselves and three about how to deepen that relationship for ourselves even more and revisiting on how the contribution we want to make overall so you know that six of pentacles where it's too there's just too much you're you're stre like i said you're stretching yourself too thin you need to reevaluate you know but it all has a purpose here um because really it seems like you're changing there's a lot undergoing and being changed within yourself which is going to reflect outside which is obviously going to be felt by the relationships outside of you and then and then in turn, what gets mirrored back is their reaction and then our response. And then it's the back and forth of like us constantly finding ourselves until we really nail that um, that boundary of what's our, um, what's that zone that doesn't take us out of this level of integrity that we are trying to live by you know or a belief or just something that it's a, it's an evolution of us that we are trusting and it, it makes us feel good and whole um so definitely trust that pisces so pisces i'm gonna leave it there please like share subscribe